Hey everyone, today we are going to discuss about exponential functions. Now, an exponential function can be written as f of x is equal to b raised to x, where b is greater than 0, b is not equal to 1, and x is any real number. In our screen here, we have an example of an exponential function. This is f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. b here, or the 2, is called the base while x is called the exponent. And the graph of f of x is equal to 2x is this one. This is the graph. Now, there are properties that we can observe about exponential functions. Number one is that the domain is a set of real numbers. Since this is a function, then we should be able to use all the values of x's. And no two value of y should be repeated since it's a function. Now, second is the range is the set of positive real numbers from 0 up to positive infinity. As we can see here from the graph, it is from here going down, approaching this side. It gets closer and closer to y equals 0, but it never reaches that. So this means that the x-axis or y equals 0 is the horizontal asymptote. And it increases and it decreases infinitely until positive infinity. Now, the third property is that if b is greater than 1, f is an increasing exponential function. Well, if b is in between 0 and 1, then f is a decreasing exponential function. So, in this graph, it's 2 raised to x, so it's greater than 1. The b is greater than 1. We can see here that it's increasing. However, if we choose to use another function, like let's say g of x is equal to 1 half raised to x, then we can see here that the graph is decreasing. It's, it's here going down. So that's the property of an exponential function. Number four, the function passes through the point 0, 1. As we can see here, this is our f of x is equal to 2x. And this is f of x is equal to 1 half x. Both graphs pass through 0, 1. Because if x is 0, then we'll have 2 raised to 0, which is equal to 1. So it passes through at this point. And lastly, number 5, the graph approaches but not, not does not reach the x-axis. The x-axis, as I've mentioned earlier, is the horizontal asymptote. Now, in exponential functions, we sometimes make use of a particular value e. This e here is called a natural number. Now, the natural number is equal to 2.71828, so on and so forth. It's similar to pi that it's a number that doesn't end, and we cannot express it as a fraction. Um, we, we will encounter the natural number E sometime in our lesson. This is mostly used on exponential functions. So let's have an example on creating a table of values for an exponential function. So let's have here f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. So let's construct a table of values, the x and the y here. Let's use the values of x's from negative 2 up to positive 2. So let's write in here, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So let's use these values and let's solve for the value of y. So in solving for this, we will just substitute x with in the, in the variable. So this becomes f of negative 2. So we use negative 2 first. Solve for the value of y if x is negative 2. So f of negative 2 is equal to 2 raised to negative 2. And remember that if the exponent is negative, we get the reciprocal. So this becomes 1 over 2 squared. And 2 squared is 1 is 4. So our function is 1 fourth. So if x is negative 2, our y is 1 fourth. So 
let's go to f of negative 1. So in f of negative 1, this becomes 2 raised to negative 1. And again, if the exponent is negative, we get the reciprocal. So 2 raised to negative 1 is 1 over 2 raised to 1. And 2 raised to 1 is the number itself, which is 2. So the answer would become 1 half. So this is now 1 half. So basically, we're just doing a substitution to solve for the function, for the table of values of the function. So I'll leave it up to you to solve for 0, 1, and 2. So you try to answer that those, those values of y given x is 0, 1, and 2. And make sure that your answer should be 1, 2, and Four. So this should be your answers for x equals 0, 1, and 2. So that's everything for exponential functions. I hope you learned a lot today and see you guys in the next video.